Auzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Today is our lecture number 24 from the chapter Lines in English in 9th class mathematics uh, and our today's topic is exercise 5.2 question number 4 now let's read out question number four. In figure, if PQ is parallel to ST, this is the figure, and PQ is parallel to ST. It is given that PQ is parallel to ST. Although they look to be far away from each other, but if we extend PQ, and ST PQ towards the right and ST towards the left then they will keep the same distance between them that that is why they are parallel they are parallel they will not meet each other if we extend these uh, lines PQ and ST if we extend these lines if we produce these lines they will never meet each other they will never intersect each other because they are parallel also, angle PQR is equal to 110 degree. Here it is, angle PQR, it is 110 degree. And angle RST and angle RST is equal to 130 degree. This is given. Three things are given. One is PQ is parallel to ST. Second is angle PQR is 110 degree. And third is angle RST is 130 degree. Now we have to find angle this angle this is angle q r s angle q r s this angle is to be found is to be find out okay this angle needs to be find out okay let's start our solution first we write what is given to us what is given to us Given is um, PQ is parallel to ST. That is given in the question. Also, angle PQR. PQR is equal to 110 degree. And angle RST. T is equal to 130 degree. Angle R S T is 130 degree. So it is given PQ parallel to ST, PQ parallel to ST, angle PQ R 110 degree, angle R S T 130 degree. Okay, what we have to find now? Hame do na kya hai? To hame do na hai angle Q R S. It is in question. Find angle Q R S. Angle Q R S. This angle is to be find out angle q r s ye hame dhoondna hai to hum kaise is angle ko dhoondenge q angle q r s ko hum kaise dhoondenge chaliye ji ek kaam karte hain hum isko hum aasani se nahi dhoond sakte hain magar hum isko aasan banane ki koshish karenge ek aasan tarika dhoondenge जिसकी मदद से हमें एंगल क्यू आर एस इसका मेजर पता चल जाएगा तो उसके लिए हम यहाँ पे एक मैं लाइन डाल रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं यहाँ पे एक कंस्ट्रक्शन कर रहा हूँ तो डॉटेड लाइन डालूँगा यहाँ पे ओके डॉटेड लाइन मैंने यहाँ पे डाली है यहाँ पे मैं एरो लगाऊँगा और यहाँ पे मैं इसका नाम uh, P Q R S T तो यहाँ पे हम इसका नाम U रखेंगे capital U okay तो मैंने एक रे एक बनाई है R U it is parallel to S T first P Q is parallel to S T that is given and now R U is parallel S T that means P Q is parallel to S T 
and RU is parallel to ST these two lines are parallel to the same line that means all the three lines are parallel that is PQ parallel to ST parallel to RU all the three lines are parallel but how are these three lines parallel through construction so a little bit of construction is there A little bit of construction is there. What sort of construction is there? Draw a ray RU. So, we have a ray ek banai RU and that is parallel to ST. Parallel, parallel to ST. RU parallel to ST. Chale ji, ab hum start apna karinge. एंगल ढूंढने की कोशिश करते हैं एंगल क्यू आर एस मगर कोशिश हम करेंगे जो ये एंगल यहां पे बना एंगल एस आर यू इसको ढूंढने की कोशिश करेंगे इस एंगल को ढूंढने की कोशिश करेंगे इस एंगल को अगर हम ये एंगल ढूंढेंगे तो ये एंगल जो हमें ढूंढना है असल में एंगल क्यू आर एस इस इसको ढूंढने में आ, हमें मदद मिलेगी अगर हम इस एंगल को ढूंढेंगे क्योंकि ये एडजस्टन एंगल है क्योंकि कॉमन रे है कॉमन रे है सो दीज टू एंगल्स आर एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स अगर हमें ये एंगल पता चलता है तो हमें आसानी होगी ये एंगल ढूंढने में जो असल में हमें ढूंढना है तो ये एंगल ढूंढने की कोशिश करते हैं तो अगर हम गौर से देखेंगे एस टी इज पर्ल टू आर यू देर फोर दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल they form a pair of co-interior angles pair of co-interior angles and we know that sum of a pair of co-interior angles is supplementary that is their sum is 180 degrees so this angle plus this angle their sum is 180 degree okay we will write the names of these two angles first is angle r s t this angle angle r S T plus angle S R U means this angle S R U angle S R U is equal to 180 degree. Why is the sum of these two angles sum of these two angles equal to 180 degree? The reason is they for they form a, these two angles form a pair of co-interior angles. So I'm going to write here co in co co interior angles co interior angles co interior angles because we know that sum of co interior angles pair of co interior angles is 180 that means they are supplementary their sum is equal to 180 degree so uh, do we know any of these two angles? If we know any of these uh, any of these two angles, the other angle can be found. Yes, definitely one of these angles is known to us. That is given angle R S T one thirty degree angle R S T. This angle is given. This angle can be easily find out. Found out. Okay, angle R S T is given. So instead of angle R S T we can write 130 degree because that is given angle R S T is 130 degree plus angle angle S R U is equal to 180 degree let's move forward let's move forward we will write angle S R U angle s r u is equal to angle s r u is equal to 180 minus 130 180 degree minus 130 degree that implies angle s r u is equal to 180 degree minus 130 that is 50 degree angle s r u is equal to 50 degree we have found angle s r u as 50 degree this angle was given this angle was given 
but this angle has been found as 50 degree this 50 degree will help to find out this angle that is angle QRS okay now how can this angle help in finding this angle okay this needs some sort of concentration full concentration okay let us see how can we find angle QRS okay okay uh, do you see there are two angles here these two angles and uh, if we join these two angles we get a bigger angle that is angle QRU angle QRU is equal to angle PQR angle QRU is equal to angle PQR let us try to understand it by giving an, uh, an example here Okay, see, I am giving an example here. Trying to make the figure as simple as possible. So, this is P, Q, R and U. P, Q, R and U. This, uh, this part uh, I have deleted for some, t uh, some time. R, S, T. I have deleted this in this figure so if you look at uh, this figure carefully pq is parallel to ru pq is parallel to ru and pqr is a transversal so this angle and this angle these two angles are equal pq is parallel to ru then angle this one and this one these two angles will be equal angle pqr will be equal to angle qru because of alternate interior angles when two lines are parallel alternate interior angles are equal since these two lines are parallel definitely alternate interior angles will be equal that is angle pqr is equal to angle qru similar is the case with here Okay, this angle is angle QRU and that QRU is equal to angle PQR because of alternate interior angles. Here is angle PQR, PQR this angle and um, this is on the left side of the transversal and on the, and the right side of the transversal there is a bigger angle that is angle QRU. These two angles are similar because these are alternate interior angles. So I can write here now angle p q r is equal to angle q r u isko hame samajhne ki koshish karni hai angle p q r is equal to angle q r u this angle because these are alternate interior angles so reason is there they are alternate interior angles alternate interior angles now look carefully we can easily get angle qrs now okay what is angle pqr what is angle pqr it is 110 degree angle pqr is 110 degree now angle qru QRU. It is made up of two angles. One is angle QRS and another is angle SRU. These two angles. QRU. Angle QRU. Angle QRU. It is uh, it is made up of two angles. One is angle QRS plus angle SRU. Angle QRU, that is a bigger angle, angle QRU, is made up of two angles. One is angle QRS and another is angle SRU. Okay? What do we get? 110 degree is equal to QRS. Angle QRS. Yehi to hume dunna hai, angle QRS. To iska to naam aagaya angle QRS. Thik. Plus angle SRU. 
और एंगल एस आर यू हमें अभी अभी पता चला है कि एंगल एस आर यू जो है वो 50 डिग्री है बिकॉज ऑफ सम ऑफ को इंटीरियर एंगल्स इज 180 फ्रॉम 180 एटी वी सब्ट्रैक्ट वन डिग्री एंड वी गॉट 50 डिग्री एंगल एस आर यू इज 50 डिग्री सो एंगल एस आर यू दैट हैज बिन कैलकुलेट इज फिफ्टी डिग्री वी कैन राइट इट है फिफ्टी डिग्री which gives us 110 degree this will be turned towards the left hand side it will become minus 50 degree will be equal to angle q r s and which implies 110 minus 50 that is 60 degree is equal to angle q r s that implies angle q r s is equal to 60 degree so Uh, this uh, angle was to be found out uh, that is angle qrs and it is has uh, been found as 60 degree so angle qrs is this angle is 60 degree and this 60 degree angle has been found because of angle sru angle sr you which was 50 degree because of co sum of co interior angles so you should practice it two or three times if any doubt you can go to the comment section comment section of this youtube and uh put your comment there uh uh further you you should also subscribe my channel so that uh, the latest videos where which i upload on the youtube you get notified as soon as possible as early as possible uh, this ends our lecture number 24 uh, about uh, exercise 5.2 question number 4 uh, now our lecture number 25 Uh, inshallah tomorrow that will be about question number 5 exercise 5.2 question number 5 uh, it's enough for now thank you very much thank you very much